Rowing. Okay, here we are at the Seventh Day Adventist Church. I'm with the pastor here in Addis Ababa, uh, Ethiopia. To start off, it's uh, it, it's been amazing to, to experience already so far the the people here. You can feel uh, a really like healthy, positive atmosphere and vibe of the love of God here with Christians. So anyway, I have so much to say, but I'm going to make it short right now. I want to let the pastor talk about the Christian life here in Ethiopia. 20 years as it was back then to now. It's a big change and it's such an amazing story that I got to have him personally tell you. So pastor, thank you for your time and your energy. And please share with the world your story of how the life of Christians are in Ethiopia. Well, the life of a Christian in Ethiopia and now is far better than it was 20 years ago. Uh, some 20 years ago there was a communist regime in Ethiopia and these communists uh, were torturing Christians and closing churches and it was very difficult to move from place to place and uh, preach the gospel. But now uh, the government clearly, the new, the current government clearly put in the constitution that every Ethiopian has a right to embrace any kind of religion and also propagate their religion and move from place to place and preach whatever they believe and also to have uh, uh, just members. So it is really quite a big difference here in Ethiopia. During the communist regime, Christians were uh, kept in prison, were tortured. For example, my father, for times, into the uh, prison and he was tortured. Not only my father, two of my brothers and one of my sisters also had the same experience. So, and now we have a freedom. We have a freedom uh, and the church is using that freedom to spread the gospel now. So there is a big difference 20 years ago and now. So here in Addis Ababa, uh, as far as the Seventh-day Adventist Church is concerning, now there are about uh, 175,000, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Adventist Christians and more than 600 churches. Uh, the church is, uh, in, you know, uh, a progressing time after time. So this is really makes us happy. So there's a big difference. There's a big difference. Pastor, what's the percentage of Muslims, Christians, and other um, religious uh, practices that are here in Ethiopia? Well, uh, I for now, I have not the, the correct figure, but about 60% is uh, Orthodox Christians, they are Coptics. And 20 uh, to 25% is uh, prote I mean, uh, Muslims. And 14, if I'm not mistaken, 14% is Protestant Christians. So, the largest number is Coptic. So, uh, this Coptic especially are uh, strong in the northern part. When you go to the southern part, this Protestant is stronger than the other. And of course, the Muslim now is growing very fast, even here in Ethiopia. Well, and what is it, only 22%, I think you said, of Muslims in this well, country? You About. Know, you know, in, 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 in the time of the emperor, Muslims had no uh, freedom to, 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 to build their church, to move, uh, because the, the emperor was strong Coptic, so the Muslims had no uh, freedom as they have now. But uh, relatively, they had a freedom during the communist. It's very uh, surprising. When the communists came, they give a lot of freedom for Muslims and then the Protestants. So they use that, uh, I mean, freedom, so they are working. And now they have more freedom than ever. So they are building mosques, they are spreading their, 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 their beliefs. So now they are rapidly increasing in Ethiopia. 
Wow, Basil, there's so many stories I see you can sing. It's such a touching story. I, I want to thank you for your time. I want to capture some other interviews with some people, but one last thing I want to ask you. If you knew that the world was watching you and heard your story, what would you have to say to the viewers? Uh, well, what I want to say for viewers is uh, I want to request them to pray for the gospel ministry in Ethiopia. And you know, Ethiopia is uh, a very poor country, and also there are some problems that uh, is uh, a hindrance to spread the gospel. Mm. So, what I want to say for viewers is please pray essentially for the gospel ministry here in Ethiopia. That's what I want to say. Beautiful. Pastor, thank you so much. You're a lovely person and I thank you so much for your time. And uh, let's just hang out today and enjoy our Sabbath, huh? Thank you very much. Thank you.